there is a rising interest in libertarian ideas in the in the Republican Party. What is what is driving that, and what might hinder it? And then is there is there something analogous in the Democratic Party too, which would kind of uh, you know is there a, is the baseline of of pre political thinking growing in a libertarian direction? Well, it is absolutely true that I never before saw articles about the libertarian faction in the Republican Party and the libertarian wing in Congress and everything, and we're seeing those now, so something is new. Journalists are perceiving that there's a, a growth here. I believe it's in the Washington Post today. There's an article about presidential candidates, and it talks about how there are four wings of the Republican Party that they have to appeal to, the establishment wing, the Tea Party, the uh, social religious conservatives and the libertarians. Now they say the libertarians are the smallest wing, but they have a lot of overlap with the Tea Party wing to the extent that the Tea Party is focused on economic issues, overspending and so on. Um, so yeah, there obviously is a change there. I think part of it is a reaction to George W. Bush mm -hmm. and the Republican Congress because Republicans told us for years just because we have the Senate doesn't mean we can cut the size of government because the Democrats still have the House and the presidency. Then they said, just because we have the Senate and the House, we can't cut because the <laughs> Democrats still have the presidency. Then we got, the Republicans got all three and they raised federal spending by a trillion dollars during the Bush years. So anybody who thought that was a bad idea should logically be looking to upset that apple cart, <laughs> overturn the kinds of people who are running the Republican Party and bring in a different group. Now, some of those Tea Partiers are conservative on foreign policy and social issues. They're not libertarian. Some of them are libertarian on that range of issues, but together they at least want a more critical attitude toward everything the federal government does, and that counts for something. Now, is there that in the Democratic Party? I don't see much. There are Democrats who are more pro-civil liberties than others. There are Democrats who are more anti-war. If you look at something like the Amash Amendment a year and a half ago to rein in a tiny part of what the NSA right. was doing, the interesting thing about that was, who is Justin Amash? I think at the time he was a freshman, congressman, and he has the audacity to propose an amendment to limit what the NSA is doing and the leadership of the House was stunned when they realized he was going to get 200 votes for that. But only about 200. Didn't, right. quite, didn't quite get a majority. But the interesting thing was he got about half of each party. More Republicans. Well, I'm not sure about that. He got about half of each party. So there is a civil libertarian wing of the Democrats. There is an economic libertarian wing of the Republicans, which is also becoming more critical of things like the NSA. But in terms of economics, it's hard to find Democrats who are uh, very critical of the welfare state and over-regulation. And I look at Obama's big government agenda, and it's kind of stunning to me that apparently the only faction in the Democratic Party that's dissatisfied with that is the ones who want a bigger government right. agenda, and therefore they want Elizabeth Warren. I don't, for instance, see them saying, Let's all get behind Russ Feingold, the one senator who voted against the Patriot Act. Right. Um, what they're saying is let's get behind Elizabeth Warren because we know that she really hates capitalism. Now, as it turns out, when push comes to shove, she won't even support auditing the Federal Reserve and its relationship with the big banks. But 